the lamentations of a black child to his God, to her God on Father's Day. On this Father's Day, I give you thanks for your generous love, O oh God. And I thank you for giving us your son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Thank you for letting me address you in your title as Abba, Father. I speak to you as your son. Do not, please, do not be mad at me. I speak to you about an important subject that is so dear to my heart and to the heart of all your black children. I speak to you today about being black. After so many years on earth, I have seen enough, heard enough, known enough to raise these questions directly to you. Please God, please. These questions are the silent groanings of over two billion of your black children around the world splintered everywhere. They deserve an answer from you on this Father's Day. Can you help me understand, dear God? Do we mean anything to you? Are we humans like your other children? Or merely fake or subordinate copies? from the streets of the sub-Saharan Africa to the deserts of Libya, from the hallowed halls of London, Paris, Berlin, Rome, Madrid, and Lisbon, to the tropical farmlands of Sao Paulo and the Amazon rainforest from the tribal habitats of Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea, to the great cities of America and Canada. The cry of justice, equality, and fairness remains unheard. I did not choose to be one black. You created me and gave me this color. Did you intend this to be a curse? I think I need an answer. Like Cain in the Bible, was this a punishment? Must we carry this curse forever? And for what offense, if I may ask? Answer me, answer me God, if you are my father. Hence for thy worry. I worry I may never do enough to be valued, to be honored, and to be treated like a human being. If I leave my home, I worry that I may never come back, that I may be hunted down on malls, on street corners, and my life be taken without due process. My parents and loved ones remain in constant wakefulness, questioning if I'll be here tomorrow, or the day after, or the week after, or the month after, or if I'll be here next year. For how long? Can anyone bear this, tor this torment? Answer me, dear God. Silence 
is no longer an option. I can't bear silence anymore. Spread out in all continents of the world. I want to ask you today, is it okay to wear our nation's colors, proudly fight our nation's wars, compete and win medals and international acclaim for our nations and return home to indignities, segregation, dehumanization and ignominy? Being black should not be this hard, dear God. How long must we bear the scars of slavery? How long must we bear the sentence of Cain? For how long must we go until our prayers are answered? Answer me, Father. Answer me, God, if you are still my Father. What is wrong with me, Lord? Tell me, what is wrong? Did you create me to be a lesser being? Did you give me this color in punishment for an unknown crime, an original sin of sort? Answer me, God. Please answer me. I can no longer bear the heartbreak, the disconcerting headaches, the transgenerational trauma and anxiety of having to daily explain to our children what you have never explained to us. If we too matter to you, and if we too are equal with all your other children. Is this color a curse or a crime? How much longer until we fully serve the existential sentence Must I remain an object of humiliation, of ridicule, of exploitation, and of legal gamesmanship? Will this go on for my entire existence? Answer me, dear God. On this Father's Day, I need an answer from you. Am I free to call you Father anymore? Do I feel like a son or a daughter to you in this color? Or just another creature? Answer me, my father. Answer me, my God. The sweat of slave labor cultivated America's plantations and filled her economy. And until now, the blood of black America continues to run freely on our streets without justice. 401 years after can you choose to speak just once please even if that means just saying no or yes to all my questions at least i will understand my place i know my value to you and to the world am i responsible for how you created me Is that my fault too? If it's, a, if it's a fault at all? Tell me please, God, please tell me. I need to hear you. I know my soul, like my blood, is not black. Maybe that's a mistake too. Answer me, please, say something. The Bible recounts that after 400 years of slavery in Egypt, you intervened and stood up for the liberation of the children of Israel. You raised up Moses to set up a plan for the freedom of a people. Whatever happened to your black children, we have no idea. Did you forget your 400 timeline, 400 years timeline? Is that true for some people and not for, for all of us? Please tell me, God. Do you hear our plight at all? Are you attending to our lamentations? Does it matter to you anymore? 
doesn't seem that way to me, at least not at this time. Your silence and that of your chosen leaders these many years is deafening and I cannot bear it anymore, oh God. I know you are the God of love. Whose name is love? I have always believed that you love me. No less and no more than anyone else. Was that too a mistake? Do you love me less than you love your other children from the other races? Am I like an illegitimate child from an unwanted relationship? Have I been wrong to assume that I'm mother like all the other children to you? That I'm equal to the rest? When, when Lord, will I be defined by the content of my character rather than the color of my skin? Answer me. Please God, say something. Don't be silent. I still have a lot of questions to ask you. I'll keep returning to this question over and over again until you give me an answer. On this Father's Day, answer me. If as a black child, I'm indeed your son or your daughter, as the rest out to you. Say something. Anything but silence will comfort my heart. Say something, oh God. For me, it's my choice. It's my choice that I will always love you as Father. Even if that being me as an illegitimate child, but I will love you. I will love you, God, as Father. And I will love my brothers and my sisters of all races because they are my brothers and my sisters. I will love them no matter what. I hope you will be able to tell me if I have been wrong to assume that you are Abba, that you are Father of all. On this day, I thank you, most compassionate, most loving, most caring, super outstanding God. And I hope you accept my wish on this Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day. Abba, Father. This is signed by your black child on this Father's Day, June 21, 2020. 401 years. I hope you remember that. Thank you, Daddy.